Today, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel and other state lawmakers met with a West Michigan organization that helps area Latinos in unhealthy relationships. Its director says after Ruby Garcia died at the hands of her romantic partner, there needs to be increased awareness of the supports out there. One story at a time. They get overwhelmed. They don't know what to do. The women in this room want to inspire change. And it's so important for the Latino community to have a voice. On Monday, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel and State Representatives Carol Glanville and John Fitzgerald listened to members of Puertas Abiertas share their domestic violence experiences during a roundtable discussion. Yeah, it's an amazing opportunity. I mean, it's so valuable for their self-esteem, for the work they're doing. Andrea Inesterosa created the Grand Rapids nonprofit in 2019 and offers therapy, support groups, and other services to Latinos in the area in unhealthy relationships who, she says, often hesitate to report their abuse to traditional organizations because of language barriers and cultural stigmas. Human right. Be safe. However, Andrea worries years of progress made by Puertas Abiertas may soon be lost. And he was set loose to roam our streets, and in this case, uh, set loose to roam in Michigan. She explains after the death of Ruby Garcia, they began to see a decline in new clients. There are many situations in which uh, our clients are married to citizens uh, of the United States, and they usually tell them, and this is a controlling thing, an abusive mm -hmm. relationship. Uh, I'm going to call immigration, I'm going to have documents, I'm going to take the kids away from you. And it's, it's hard for them, so they prefer not to say anything mm -hmm. and just keep it for themselves. Andrea attributes the issue to politicians' speeches about the alleged killer's immigration status. I know we're starting the month, uh, but it was a huge impact. Mm -hmm. People get... When they start feeling safe, they start feeling, you know, they can come forward. Mm -hmm. Something happened like this, and they go back. She believes the focus should instead be on the victim and greater problem of domestic violence. Andrea hopes events like the roundtable help leaders understand that. And says until that and other changes happen, like increased funding from Lansing, Members of Puerto Sabiertas will continue to share their experience one story at a time. We want them to come forward. We want to listen to them. We want to help them. We can help them. Um, maybe it's going to take a little bit more to get the trust now. Um, but we are here. We're not going to go anywhere. And we're going to keep fighting and helping everybody. So an October 2022 survey from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention found 42% of Hispanic women reported experiencing an intimate partner violence relationship during their lifetime. For more on that, you can head to our website at fox17online.com or click on this story on our app. Reporting in the studio, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.